I guess that was starting. I hit the wrong button. I'm already started. I'm live. Welcome to my daily broadcast. <laughs> Jump the gun a bit. Okay. Starting over. Or starting at the beginning, because I tried to do that before I even got online. Just one of those times. Okay. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance and love life and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, and uh, this is my ongoing series of talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, and this one is a big one for that. Um, and what triggered actually was watching a couple of women I know be very expressive, very alive, vivacious, strong, powerful, owning their space, and owning their mistakes too. It was a beautiful combination of energies, and for me, frankly, I was awestruck almost awestruck and, and inspired and blown away. So what I'm realizing more and more is I may be in the minority. So I'm happy to you too. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube later on, because this is done on Facebook Live, I'm responding to comments on Facebook Live that you may not see when it gets to YouTube. So, or on podcasts for that matter. So, um, yeah, so this topic is kind of more of a declaration and statement versus an explanation. And... Um, Unfortunately, I'm doing it at night, and I need to get these light bulbs changed because they come out very yellow, so I'm looking a bit yellow myself, and that's not my natural color. So, um, this pink skin doesn't tan easily, so yellow isn't my palette. Um, so speaking to the topic at hand, which is basically a multitude of insults to women, to ask women to to shut down, to become quiet, to be docile, to be everything they're not, and... I, for one, am fed up seeing this happen. I'm fed up hearing about it, as in I'm fed up with men doing it to women. I'm fed up with society, society treating women like this. One, because it's very obvious now with the Me Too campaign and the new Time's Up campaign that are coming out to really give women a voice, which is partly because of the suppression that's been going on for so many years. Secondly, though, it's because men don't know how to, I don't know if it handles the wrong word, don't know how to be with a woman who's fully expressing herself. And let me be honest, I'm learning this myself. This is not my strong suit by any means. But the thing is, I'm aware that many men out there, and I've talked about this, this actually, I'm realizing, ties into my last two broadcasts. Not last two? Yes, last two broadcasts, which was, um, why do, why do heartfelt women get drawn to um, emotionally unavailable men? And why emotionally valuable men not choosing healthy relationships? I, I, that was the kind of two talks. And this is kind of part three in a way, which is basically a declaration of the, of the facts. Ladies, you are not being respected. I mean, being simple about it is the way it's been happening. It's been happening for years and you know this. But I'm also talking about on, on the personal relationship level because this is where my work is. And this is where we can do a change more, more in, incrementally and more immediately because... Changing society is like moving a very, very slow-moving ship. But changing relationships can happen much faster. So there's some points I want to bring to the table, I think, I trust. That's the, that's the way they come in, so bear with me. One is that um, men have been... <laughs> it's funny. I, let, me, let me give you a view into what's going on in my head. I'm saying stuff, and then I'm seeing spirit dropping in words in the middle of it. They're going, oh, crap. Say that instead. So <laughs> I've got to be real. So what's happening, what, what I'm, what's, gonna, what's coming out is for many years, men have had it, have basically got off easy. That's, what, uh, that's what's coming out. I was going to say something else, but Spirit said, no, say that. So I'm saying that. And we have. We've had run of the show taking, not so much taking charge, but not being challenged for that role by the women, except in business. And that's a whole other conversation. I talked about, talked about that one before many times, especially over the last several months. And by the way, if you didn't know, this is my regular daily Facebook Live broadcast, and this is number 217. So I've done a lot of these. But this particular focus on, piece, I want to focus in on relationships, particularly because <clears throat> there's a change happening, as you may be aware. Again, with the, hashtag, with the MeToo hashtag, and now with the um, Time's Up, I think is the new, the new campaign just came out. There's just the new uh, group that's coming together. And frankly... It's way past time, but the question is then, how does it trickle down into a relationship? Because many men, there's two pieces, okay, which piece will go first? Men in a relationship 
who haven't been in one regularly or don't know how to treat women have had an ongoing challenge with how to be in a relationship with women. And the idea of honoring and respecting a woman who's voicing herself and being loud in the sense of sharing her views and her emotions and the truth, for many men is way out of their comfort zone. In fact, for many men, it's impossible for them to understand. The bad news of that is that a lot of men don't want to leave the relationship. They'd rather suppress their women. And that is not right, healthy, or anything else. I mean, it, it's, you know, it bugs me. Part two of this is that men who have been out in the dating arena are being challenged because women are stepping up. And the, the challenge also is because of this Me Too conversation, what's been happening with sexual harassment, a lot of men now don't know where they stand. And I'm not going to defend them. I'm just going to say what I'm aware of. The dating game is changing a lot for the better, but it's also the pendulum swing has gone one side to the other and it's not come to balance yet, which is how men can interact with women in a way that is respectful, because damn guys, you need to step up and respect the women more, Um, appreciative, caring, honoring, gentlemanly respect for women, that sort of thing, or for the ladies. That's a piece that's been missing for a long time in the dating arena, especially with smartphone apps in the dating scene. It's kind of like, Everyone's swiping on each other, men and women. So there's been no real, to be honest, there's been no real chivalry, courtship, and romance around. It's been missing because the dating apps have taken that away. Or should say they've obviated the need for it. There's a fancy word. <laughs> and this is part of the challenge that's going on is that I really think I, think I need to do this. I keep getting this hit that I need to write a book or, or not a book, but a, a workbook called Gentlemanly Conduct, How to, how to Approach a Woman Out of Respect. Because men ain't doing it. I haven't been doing it for a long time. It's a missing piece of the puzzle. And this, for me, is challenging because since a lot of my clients and a lot of my friends are women, I feel for them. That's the reason I got into this business in a way, and the way I do the work I do, because I feel like I want to help women take their space in a way that is healthy and honoring so that men don't have the room. Sorry, guys. Men don't have the room to jump into this, you know? Thank you. you absolutely, I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, the challenge has been, especially again in the dating arena, is that the dating apps have made it so that women don't realize they need to take up more space. They're, be, they're being equal in the eyes of swiping, but they're not being equal in the area of romance. And ladies, you deserve to be courted. Truly courted. Now, I don't mean about who pays for the date. That's not really relevant necessarily. But it's how men respect you and honor you and are focused on you as a partner versus you as a someone to poke in bed. Let me be clear and blunt. Because that's been what's happening a lot. And it's and it's, it's not an age thing either, by the way. There's no like, well, the millennials and the, this, like, no bullshit. It's all over the spectrum. There is no niche or, or, or band of width within the audience that are doing this. Yes, the smartphone apps came out in the last 10 years because the oh, smartphones came out 10 years ago. That those coming up in the dating arena maybe never learned these rooms. But a lot of men who've gone past this point Seems to have forgotten conveniently. Guys, wake up. Act your age and your maturity and your masculine role and honor the women in your life. That also includes, of course, your mothers, sisters, relatives as well, and co-workers, please. But in relationship, being with a woman that can trust you, respect you, and also love you back requires you to do the same for her. Now, there's another piece of the puzzle which I'm going to throw in because it came up in my mind about this, about the sexual polarity in bed. And I want to say this in a very simple way to keep this very clean and linear. Let's hang on a second. I need to... <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to do that. I was my phone wasn't do not disturb, so I might get, if I got a phone call in the middle, it'll cut me from the middle. I want to make sure I get this point across. There's a term that one of my teachers uses, um, David Data, about the ravishing act, or the act to be the ravisher and the ravishee, as it were, the one who's ravished and the one who ravishes, as a polarity dance in bed. And it's primarily masculine ravishing the feminine, but it's not, I can say this, the term is meant in the, from the highest place of love and respect. It isn't about destruction or hurting. It works both ways, by the way, because the, the, there, is, there is definitely the fun of flipping the polarity so that the feminine becomes the ravisher and the masculine becomes the ravishee. That, I've had that myself. It's kind of fun. Not all the time, kind of fun. 
But they're understanding about in bed that it's an earned... Here, that's the piece. Men, you earn the right to take a woman to bed that way when you've earned her respect and when you've treated her like a lady. It isn't a carte blanche way to do this when you, don't, when you just feel like it. And ladies, so you hear this, not just hear what I said, but so you own it for yourself, is that you, ladies, please, you have, you have, I can say this, and so you have the right to say no, it's more than that. You have the right to kick him in the balls, to be blunt. <laughs> I'm putting it out there that way. Because the thing is, men don't always listen properly. I'm going to be serious. They don't listen, they don't, ask for, they don't ask for permission, and they don't follow your signs. Now, another part of that is, ladies, is make your signs visible. I've talked about this before, that your ability to um, communicate is so much more subtle than we as men have. They may say things to us we don't even hear or don't understand. So sometimes you've got to imagine you're giving us signs in semaphore because we may not catch the hint otherwise. So if you're mean saying no, make sure it's clear, perfunctory, and effective so that he gets it. And make sure he gets it. Because if you say it in the middle of the passion growing and expression, you may have totally missed it. Not to excuse him, but to recognize that maybe your role is to be more owning of your own space and being louder, visible, heard, as I mentioned at the beginning. It all comes around full circle. So this is not an easy topic necessarily for some of you to listen to, I understand. It's a challenging topic for, some, for many because the dating arena has become a minefield. It hasn't been as easy and the dating apps didn't make it easier. They've just simply exacerbated what's been going on. Ladies, you can swipe right on the guys in the apps, but make sure you step into the feminine role so he can court you and, and approach you the right way. Men, if she swipes on you, don't get lazy. Take up your space and be a respectful gentleman. Learn how to treat her. And guys, if you don't know what being, what being a gentleman's like, reach out to me. I'll coach you and you can pay me for it. <laughs> I'd be really blunt about that. Um, and ladies, if you're looking for help in this area, this is my speciality of, of helping you find your way through the navigation, the world, the world of life and love, and how to really help own your space and own your heart. But I hope this message is clear and is giving, some, giving you some hope, insight, possibility, and ownership of your space. This is not an easy topic, I know. And I may go deeper in this tomorrow. We'll see. These topics come through each day, and I don't always go A to B to C to D. This I'm going to go all over the map. But I wanted to get this out on the table and get this out to you as one of my talks because it's an important one to talk about. Um, and I said, this was inspired by watching a couple of women I saw on video just being so owning their feminine, their gifts, their, their vivaciousness. It was incredible. I was absolutely in love with both women and in lust, let's be honest. And so in deep respect for what they were doing that I had to speak to the topic that's been on the table for so many months now with different women dealing with this lack of safety to not feel comfortable. And so that example inspired me to share this topic and to um, put my voice out there in a way that works. And this has been the whole point of Messages to the Masculine, by the way. Um, this is, say, number 217 in an ongoing series of talks called Messages, Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Um, they were inspired initially because of the election. They're inspired because I saw women being disrespected. They're inspired because I saw men acting like ignorant anuses. And I said, no, I need to step up and speak about this. And I started talking about these. After I was just on a bike ride, I started talking about this back in November, December, and they're still going because this is an important topic. And if for nothing else, I'd like you ladies to know that from a masculine heart, I support you. I'm here for you, and I respect you. And that's it. Thanks for watching, as always. If you know anybody who should watch this, please share it with them. They might be an inspiration for somebody out there. Um, and all these, all these talks, by the way, live on my website, which is barryselby.com. And you look at the video blog, you'll see them all there. But also my business page, where you can see the comments, because you can't see the comments once they're embedded on my website. And if you have any questions or thoughts you want to reach out to me, you can over social media, or you can put comments below and I'll get back to you. And um, take this to heart. Sit with this and, and let me know your thoughts about this. I appreciate your... Uh, perspective and especially if this touches you in a way that works thanks for being with me and i'll see you again tomorrow take care bye